If you want to lower your odds of getting sick from the Delta variant, get vaccinated. That is the message from the Ohio Department of Health today, which is tracking it. After reaching a low of 17.6 on July 7th, our two-week average of cases per 100,000 has now risen to 22.9. Hospital admissions have also gone up from 200 on July 9th to 261 just today. Chief Medical Officer for the Ohio Department of Health says thanks to the vaccine, deaths are largely preventable. But since May 1st, 600 Ohioans have died. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares how the vaccine and the Delta variant cases are likely connected. Hey there, everybody. For weeks now, infection control specialists have been sharing that the Delta variant was expected to be the dominant strain. Now that's confirmed as hospitals continue to see cases climb, especially in those not yet vaccinated. Based on the trends we're seeing, it's clear that the Delta variant is on the rise in Ohio. Ohio, just the latest state to show an uptick in coronavirus cases likely due to the Delta variant. But as this CDC map shows, there's already a connection between low vaccination rates and higher case counts in many states. Those in orange have less than 40% of people fully vaccinated. So when someone gets a positive COVID-19 test, they don't find out which strain they might be infected with, just whether or not they have had COVID-19. The sequencing is subsequent and takes longer. The concern, of course, is that this variant appears to be highly infectious, getting stronger, not weaker, as it mutates or changes. That's not a good thing for our patients or our community. Well, it's possible to get infected with this variant even if you've had one of the COVID-19 vaccines. Getting the vaccine will still likely lower your odds. It can make you seriously sick. If you get the vaccine, you will not get seriously ill from covid one thing to note that some people do show different symptoms when infected with the Delta variant compared to the original virus strain. Dr. Stephen Blatt says some people report the Delta onset feels more like a cold with a headache, runny nose and sore throat. Loss of smell, shortness of breath, fever and persistent cough still present. But those tracking cases say those symptoms have moved down the list from the cases seen at the start of the pandemic. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.